John Singer, who is a deaf mute, decides that since he is an attentive listener, he will open up his own counseling clinic and devote his time to helping others. Today is the day I really feel like listening. I'm going to put my lip reading and business skills to the test. I wonder what sort of people will walk in. <laughs> we shall see. Meanwhile, across town, two women that go by the names of Blanche DeBowis and Emma Bovary are kicked out of their counseling offices. Blanche's patients often complain that instead of listening to their problems, she constantly is singing and prancing around the room like a silly little child. Emma often tries to engage herself with her younger male patients and nearly calls the clinic a lawsuit over it. Their boss suggests that instead of offering help to others, they should get some help themselves. Emma, look here. It says a deaf mute has recently opened up a counseling clinic to new patients. A deaf mute, Blanche? Mm -hmm. How in the world do you expect this deaf mute to give us advice when he can't hear, let alone speak? This is true. Just crazy. Very true. We should just give it a chance anyway. Besides, if he gets frustrated, he can't say much. He is a mute, right? What a marvelous idea. Well, I shall return home to the farm to gather my things, and I'll meet you there in the morning. All right, I'll see you later, darling. Blanche! Yes? One more thing. Mm-hmm. I'm in an immense amount of debt. I have no idea how I'm going to pay for this. Well, I have a solution. What are those? We could trade these babies in for some money. <laughs> Where did you get those? Paper moon, paper moon. I like to be in a paper moon. It is now the next morning, and Blanche arrives at the clinic in a streetcar named Desire. women look crazy. What am I getting myself into? I'll be in the waiting room. Okay. Thank you so much, Mr. Singer, for seeing us. I just, I'm all so overwhelmed and I have all these problems. I've been sleeping with many different men. I neglect my daughter. I lavish myself on expensive gifts and jewelry. I waste my money. I'm in debt. I nearly almost died. Great, she won't shut up. What? What is it? I can't talk to anybody about this. I mean, I would talk to my best friend Blanche, but I think she's even crazier than I am. She's always getting this stupid look on her face every time this polka music plays. Everything about her I just can't stand. I'm just going to pretend I'm listening and then maybe she'll stop talking. Are you listening to me? Excuse me, but I believe it's my turn now, Emma. Women. Can you believe her? Psh, trying to take up all your time, leaving none for me. I bet she's just in the waiting room being her usual self anyway. Hey, Bill. Five o'clock? Sure. Oh, can you hold Tim? 
What? Of course I love you. What are you talking about? Can I call you back though? Hold on. Hi, Steve. Um, no, five is not good for me. What about seven? Seven? Okay, see you later. Love you. Bye. Bob? Bob, I'm sorry. I think you might have to reschedule. Oh, you want to go to the late night movie? Okay, that's fine. Love ya. Bye. Hello? Oh, all right. See you at five. Well, anyway, I know the session should be all about me, so I'm 19 years old. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, anyways. So, I made my husband shoot himself. He was, he was gay, and I found him in the bed with one of his friends one late afternoon, and... I didn't really know what to think of it, and this moment haunts me ever since. If I was her husband, I think I would go gay too. Ever since then, I just haven't been the same. That, that music, where is it coming from? <laughs> what are you chuckling about? There's nothing funny here. Gosh. What is this? An insane asylum? You think that is what I need? An insane asylum? I'm not crazy. I'm not doing this anymore. What are you doing? Oh, Let's go oh, right oh, now. Wait, I didn't even get my advice. Then you stay here. I'm done doing this. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm sick of it. Fine. We need no, help. no, I don't want to do this. This is not the way. I'm not going to talk to some deaf mute who is going to tell me how to run my life when he doesn't even speak. I need help. I sleep with different men every night. Well, why don't you get a grip, Emma, and face reality? Excuse me, Blanche. This is not always about you and your little problems. You, you, you are just ridiculous. You're the crazy one. That no, the music comes out. If this is what it's going to be like helping people, then I can't do it. Did you hear that? Yes, I did! <gasps> Blanche! Look what you made him do! What I made him do? Is that a joke? No. Flores de Mortis! Flores de Mortis! Flores de Mortis! Flores de Mortis! That was strange. Indeed it was. Well, I'm off on one of my dates I had scheduled for tonight. Oh, well, I'm going to go home, take a nice hot bath, and stare at myself in the mirror all night long. That's funny. I did the same thing last night. <laughs> <laughs> Toodles, girl. Darling, see you later. Ever since I was a young boy, I played the silver ball. From Soho down to Brighton. Play them all, but I ain't seen nothing like him in any amusement hall. That deaf, dumb, and blind kid sure plays a mean pinball. Up. <laughs> I'm gonna go home and stare myself in the mirror again. <laughs> That's funny, I did the same thing last night. Toodles, darling. Peace. <laughs> Wait, no, I can't say peace. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Yeah.